Let's take a look at the main window in iMovie. When you start it up, you may or may not come to this screen, but this is the main window where you create new projects. You tap projects, and then you tap the plus in the upper right hand corner. You have the option of creating a movie or a trailer. A movie lets you combine video clips, still images, narration, audio, and you have full control over what goes where. A trailer uses a set outline with short clips that you can't change the order, you can't delete, you have to use the number of clips that are given. You can put in text in certain spots. They're great. The trailers are great for doing like a book review, a book trailer. If you haven't worked with iMovie very much, this question mark, when you tap it, it brings up these little pop-outs that tell you what everything is about. It's good as you're first learning to use iMovie, what things are. If you want to actually get to the iMovie help, the general help, you tap the learn more in the bottom. It will open in your web browser. In the top right, you see video, photos, and audio. This shows all the video that's already on the iPad. So if you use the camera app and you take video, you take photos, they're in your camera roll, they will show up here. And you can change by tapping on the photos. Here are the photos. The bottom part is the timeline. And that white vertical line is called the playhead. That's the point in the video where any actions will take place. And it's the point of the video that's showing in the top left section in that window that's where you see the video. In the middle to the right you have the blue wavy lines. Those turn on and turn off the audio waveform. That's the up and down lines, the wavy lines that show up on the, an audio track. So you can see the volume, where there's silence, and it helps with editing. I always turn them on. Now your best friend here is this arrow, curved arrow. That is your undo arrow. Anytime something happens that you weren't expecting or you try something and you didn't like it and you want to go back, you use the undo button. The way I always say it is if you do a do you don't want to do, you undo. A do is an action, splitting a track, deleting a track, adding something, anything that you can do, you can undo it. If something happens and you delete something accidentally, don't freak out. Simply go to the undo arrow and bring it back. If you do a do you don't want to do, you undo. The bottom bar is the toolbar. On the left are my tools, on the right are my choices. When I have a video clip selected. When you select a clip and you tap the scissors, you have choices to split, duplicate, and delete. The T is for title. You can add titles on top of the video and these are your choices. The three overlapping circles just give you some options of effects that you can add. If you tap anywhere to deselect the clips, the little gear icon in the bottom right, the settings, the gear, you can turn the theme music on and off. So when I turn it on, there's the theme music underneath. Fade in from black, fade out to black. I always turn those on because at the beginning and the end of a video, I like it to start black and then fade in and then at the end fade out to black and not leave the last frame of the video. It just looks better to me. So those are the settings. That is iMovie. It's a 
very powerful little app and I highly recommend using it to edit video. You may capture video in the camera but if you are going to share it in some way and you need to edit it, you need to boost the volume, you've got to do that in iMovie.